there's been a video floating around on YouTube um, a man they call him uh, a man doesn't make excuse the video is called a man doesn't make excuses an elder speaks facts it's it's been on YouTube and Facebook but I've only found it on Facebook but I'll just play it we got to say he's a boy because the difference between a man and a boy is that a man runs to responsibility while a boy runs from it would you agree with that so the first thing we got to do now let me tell you something I'm the man in my house that my wife so help me God her name is not on no bills I pay all the bills let me tell you why because I have to pay the cost to be the boss Send my woman down and get on section eight. Go and get on public assistance. Go down there. And you can't, you can't be in the house. You can't be on no 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 no, no lease. Right. You can't even be on no bills. See, that ain't being a man. So when I say being a man, it's what makes you a man, is that you accept the responsibility of being one. I'm the provider of my home. I'm the maintainer of my home. I'm the protector of my home. I don't make excuses. I can't tell my wife when the mortgage is done, I fall short of my, well, you know, baby, because I, I have to get up, you know, I have to get up. No. Real men don't make excuses. Sure. And here we are talking about making our community seek discipline and we start making it too. Well, see, they won't let us. Who won't let us kill them? Why can't we make our community safe? Alright, so that was the video and honestly, I agree wholeheartedly with this um, gentleman uh, and I, I understand, uh, I'm in my 20s and I am a, a millennial and most of the young men today really don't agree with the whole um, concept of a man being a protector and a provider. That is one of the main reasons why I do not date men in my age range. I will not date a man in, in his 20s or 30s. Um, <laughs> because there's this widespread um, just like rejection of taking on that masculine role of being a provider and a protector and I don't want to be in a relationship like that. Like I don't want to be in a relationship where I am not allowed to be feminine and I have to be masculine. I'm, I don't want to be in a relationship where I'm pushed in a masculine place and, 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 and forced to provide for myself and a man. Like there's there's no way I'm doing that. <laughs> this is why I date older men. But anyway, off the topic, um, just like the guy says, guy, like, like, like the gentleman said, guys, stop running away from being a man, stop making excuses. Um, I understand that nowadays women are taking on more of a provider role and that kind of gives a signal to men that, hey, well, if she's willing to split the bill, then, you know, this is equal, it's equality, it's equal, it's equal. Oh, well, she's gonna have to pay 50, you know, and they get used to that. And then, then when they really want a girl and the girl that they really want is like, Bro, you know, I'm not paying half of anything. Then they get shocked and they get upset and then they get mad because they don't want to be a provider. But here's the thing, I, I really recommend men think about this. To expect a woman to go half or to pay for you on a date or any type of living situation in any type of household is rather feminine it's feminine and it is really disappointing because have we forgotten that it is easier for men to get jobs in the society that we live in right now um we live in most societies right now are patriarchies there is a lot of workplace discrimination, a lot of glass ceilings women have to face. And if a woman gets to the point where she goes, she, you know, she moves through all these obstacles to be able to provide for herself um, and do it on her own. And then you come in her life and you're not providing for her and you're not adding any value to her life. Like, what is wrong with you? <laughs> Why would you expect a woman to work and provide for you as a man? Why would you do that? When it's already easier, for, there's less discrimination men will have to go through to get a job and to excel in a workplace. 
number one. Number two is, um, you wanna talk about all this equality. It, first of all, it's not equal. Women still get paid, what is it? Last time I checked it was like 60 something cents, around 60 something cents to every dollar a man gets paid for. And if you, gosh, and men are just so possessive and they wanna claim women. And if you know this fact, then you need to pay for her. <laughs> She gives, she's getting paid less than you. She's going to go through a lot more discrimination, workplace discrimination, hiring discrimination. She's gonna go through having to um, try to move past obstacles like glass ceilings. And then to top it all off, to top it all off, when we talk about an intimate and sexual relationship between a man and a woman, women take on the vast majority of the risk for sex. Uh, women are a lot more susceptible to getting STDs. Women are the ones who get pregnant and um, you know, will have to deal with the consequence of either getting an abortion or carrying the baby. And a lot of times, unfortunately, women are abandoned and left with a baby alone and they become single mothers. I mean, that's a lot of risk. Um, women are at a crazy high risk of um, at a crazy high risk of encountering sexual violence and being victims of sexual violence, violence in general, being sexually assaulted, and it's just like if 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 there is this much risk for women in dealing with men, and there's this much discrimination in trying to provide for ourselves in a masculine patriarchal society. Why wouldn't you take on the responsibility of taking care of a woman? Like, there is an inherent risk that every woman uh, makes when dealing with men, when dealing, when just existing in this patriarchal society. So if you are approaching a woman because you want access to her body, you want all the benefits that come along with being a woman, feminine inspiration, access to sex, access to her body, emotional support, you want all of these benefits of a woman, but you're not willing to take care of her and to provide for her and make her life better, then you don't deserve a woman. And I agree 100% with that that older man that y'all need to stop running from being a man. Y'all need to stop making excuses because there's a movement going on and you'll look around young men. If you keep this mindset of not being a provider, protector, and not trying to impress a woman, not you know treating her really special, you will not have access to women. All you will have access to is prostitutes. I, I, I promise you. Things are changing slowly. The message is being spread. <laughs> and things will not be looking good for you when you get older. And, this, and it's always like this. It's like older men, like younger men who are like, no, no, I don't know. I don't need to use money to talk to no man, to, to, to get no women. I don't need to use money. I don't need to use my things. I don't need to do this for a woman. Like they're the, they're the main ones who become 60, 70 year old, 60 to 70 years old and then they're found dead in some bathtub or some fucking excuse me in some <laughs> in some basement you know what i mean like nobody wants to deal with you like that's the job of a man but anyway i'm sounding off please leave comments let me know what you think bye